Hey everyone, welcome to the flight review of the all new E-Flight Turbo Timber Evolution. So we're out here at the uh, the Grand Haven RC Flying Club. It's a beautiful night. We got some thunderstorms in the background. We got a probably about a five, six mile an hour uh, crosswind, but shouldn't be any issue for this awesome Turbo Timber Evolution. So our very first flight we're gonna be doing is gonna be on a uh, 2200 3S battery and that battery is positioned just about as far forward um, as it will go in order to get the aircraft to balance at 65 uh, millimeters back from the uh, leading edge and we're going to do the first flight here uh, without any of the uh, the slats installed and it's actually using the exact same setup that I have on my original timber so it's going to have a lot less throws on the flaps and on the ailerons but I want to do that so I get a real good comparison of how the new turbo timber evolution flies compared to the original turbo t or the original timber. We're also going to try out two other batteries. Uh, so after this video is done, we're going to switch batteries. We're going to try a 2200 uh, 4S battery, and then we're going to go all the way up to a 4000 uh, 3S. And we're going to see what the uh, performance difference is between the 2200 3S, 2200 4S, and then a little bit heavier 3S battery and see how the plane really kind of reacts differently. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing uh, fired up, shall we? All right, here we go. We're taking off with the uh, Turbo Timber Evolution. We're gonna do a flat shot takeoff here. Here we go. Roll out, full power. We're in the air. Do a nice climb out here. That's uh, no flaps on this. Get out into the uh, pattern here. I do have to say that uh, new paint scheme, that red really, really shines, uh, especially in this background of these uh, white clouds. It's amazing how well that, uh, that red paint really pops in uh, these conditions here. Little bit of wind up there, not very much. It is a crosswind. You can see that AS3X is definitely working. We'll go ahead and bring it down here close to the field. There we go. Yeah, it definitely flies very, very much like a timber i mean it's really no surprise i mean there's there's fingers off right now hands off the sticks and uh yeah. boy it's perfectly uh it's perfectly trimmed right from the uh right from the factory no issues there climb out yeah i mean i would say there's there's nothing too surprising about the uh the, the turbo evolution it flies very similar so if you're used to the original it's uh it's going to be very very similar uh, it's amazing how stable the airplane is. I mean, look at this, it's just completely hands off. Nothing, see? No hands, it's just amazing. <laughs> it's, it's very stable. And even in this wind, it's really not doing much. Here we go, a little bit of a, more of a bank angle there. We're bringing it around. It's just such a stable, easy flying airplane. Bring it around. Let's do a, uh, we'll get on the throttle a little bit here. Let's crank it up to, uh, we'll do a full throttle pass here, all right? So we'll bring it down a little bit. A nice rainbow in the background. Yeah, I feel like I said, if you're used to the timber, uh, you'll be very used to this one. It does feel a little bit more responsive. I think the Metal Gear servos and that stiffer wing do make it feel a little bit more responsive. Of course, I don't have the slats on there too, so that may be also uh, playing a factor in here. Let's throttle up. Here we go. Full power on 3S. We are out in climbing out. All right. So yeah, this like overall, like I said, it's pretty easy to fly. Let's uh, let's just do a quick aileron roll here. There we go. Really, really easy. No problems at all. All right. We're going to do one more uh, lap and then we're going to go ahead and bring it in for landing. We do have some air traffic coming in. So I do want to get down before uh, he arrives. So we're just going to come around for one more pass here. We'll come in nice and low and then we will come down for a uh, for a nice landing. You see the navigation, the landing lights all working. There we go. AS3X working away. Bring it around. Uh, we're going to just do a uh, half flap landing. We do have a little bit of crosswind, so that will play into the uh, the landing, all right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring her on in now. Okay. Here we go. Look at that thing. Nice, slow speed performance. Easy, easy. Look at this thing. Slowing right down. 
into the wind. Power off. And there we go. So like I said, really easy flying airplane. No problems whatsoever. 3S has got plenty of power. I mean, you don't need 4S. Obviously it's capable of 4S, but that was a beautiful 3S flight and a little bit of a crosswind. It's about a six, eight mile an hour crosswind. No complaints at all. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the 4S battery thrown in there and see if we see any difference at all in performance between a 3S battery and a 4S battery. Be a little bit heavier, so we'll obviously recheck the, uh, the center of gravity and see what that does in terms of uh, how the plane will fly. All right, so we've completed the 3S flight on the new E-Flight Turbo Timber Revolution, and now we're gonna try a 2200 uh, 4S battery, and it's located uh, about three eighths of an inch back from the uh, kind of the front of the bulkhead here and that's where the aircraft will balance at 65 uh, millimeters from the front without the slats and salt. I was very happy with 3S performance. I don't think it needs 4S but I have a feeling it's going to fly much more like a uh, like a turboprop on 4S than the 3S did. I think the 3S is a great fit for the original timber but I have a feeling the 4S is actually going to be a little bit better fit for this new turboprop version of the timber. Let's go ahead and get a thing in the air shall we? All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, the 4S flight. I did bump the rates up a little bit. We're a little higher than I, my normal timber is and we're higher rates than the uh, than I flew with the uh, 3S battery. And takeoff flaps. we're gonna go with a flaps takeoff. All, All right, right, here we go. Flaps takeoff, 4S battery, here we go. Let's punch it. And we're in the air, look at that. <laughs> That's like a turbo prop, that is incredible. I don't know what that rollout was, but you measure that in a, uh, just a few feet. I bet we were in the air in about 24 to 36 inches max. So that's just takeoff flaps. My flap settings are actually half of what the manual suggests. All right, so we're gonna bring her on down. Here we go. Look at that. Full power, full beans on that. Definitely much faster on 4S and 3S. You can really feel the uh, the thrust on this thing at full power. Once again, that beautiful red paint scheme just shines in this lighting conditions. Uh, some of my other planes with more of a blue finish, you're not gonna get this much uh, contrast in the sky, but this red really, really looks awesome in this lighting conditions in the sky. All right, here we go. Nice big bank here. Let's go ahead and Bring her down here. Here we go. Nicely done. Look at that. How about another aileron roll, shall we? Let's do another one. Here we go. Up. Yeah, definitely a little bit crisper on the aileron rolls with that uh, that more uh, higher rate on the aileron. And of course, a little bit more airspeed too really made that a very crisp turn. And that's where, you know, with the, uh, the original uh, timber with my slats on it, um, in a little bit, I guess, not as stiff wing, you're not gonna be able to roll nearly that crisp. I mean, that's a very crisp roll um, for, a, for a timber. I mean, it's a stall plane. It's not an aerobatic sport plane, it's a stall plane. And it didn't have any issues at all. I'll tell you what, this thing is just such an easy, easy flying plane. It does not feel overpowered on 4S. It's not like, a, you know, I'm a big scale guy, so I'm not one to really, uh, fly too fast or out of control. So for me, 4S still feels like a scale turboprop and not out of, you know, it's not way out of control or out of scale. It, if, to me, it feels like a turboprop should. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I kinda, I'm kind of digging 4S, 2200 in the timber. It doesn't feel too heavy, um, not by any means. And of course, it's not that much more than the, uh, than the 3S powered one batteries are about the same did move it back just a just a scotch to get it to balance right but i'm really happy and really really loving this airplane on 4s and i'm not even flying this thing you know fast on 4s okay maybe a little quick how about another full power pass here climb out look at that no problem getting into the air lots of power yeah, it's pretty cool on 4S. Um, in fact, I would go as far as saying, I think I'm a 2200 4S guy when it comes Time to uh, Three minutes. 
come into this plane. So we're going to do one more pass here, and then we're going to go ahead and bring her in. Nothing really too surprising about this airplane. It's just so stable and easy. Look at nice slow speed. Here we go. It's nice and slow. Nice and slow. Power up. Climb it out. Look at that thing go. Boom. I couldn't do that with my original on 3S. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's bring her down for a landing, shall we? Power is all the way off. Idling her on the way in. All right, we'll get back on the power just a little bit here. We're going to do a uh, takeoff take flight, uh, takeoff flaps landing here. And then we'll go to, we're going to go to full flap here. A little bit of ballooning up there. I was a little too much airspeed. So that's my bad. I do not have any elevator uh, to flat mix on this. Boop, here we go. Bring her in nice and good. Look at that. I tell you what, it's just such a nice airplane. No complaints at all. So yeah, which do I prefer, 3S or 4S? I'm going with 4S. I think that's my preference for this thing. It flies like a turboprop. I love it. All right, we're gonna try a heavier battery now and see how that compares. But that wraps up the uh, the 4S flight of the Turbo Timber Evolution. And so far, that's my favorite setup. All right, so we're here with the uh, Turbo Timber Evolution. We've tried a 2200 3S, a 2200 4S. And for this flight, we're gonna try a 4,000 milliamp per hour uh, 3S, all right? So it's a little bit heavier of a battery. It should give you a lot more flight time. All right, so this is the 4,000 milliamp 3S battery. So a little bit more weight, but back to 3S power. So we're just gonna do a kind of a longer takeoff, uh, not a stall takeoff on this one. So no flaps. Here we go. Power coming up. Here we go. Nice scale takeoff. You know, it's not really scale for a stall plane. It was a little bit longer. So let's just see, does it fly any different with a heavier battery on it that we can tell? So let's just do, do hands off. No. <laughs> No difference uh, at all. I do not feel any different flight characteristics so far. Um, with my Cherokee, I've noticed it lands better with a little bit heavier of a battery. Uh, so we'll see on landing if it's any different, but I'll tell you what, from takeoff, flying the pattern, it does not feel any different at all with a heavier weight battery in it. Come in nice and low here. There we go. Oh, yeah, the stability of a timber is just unmatched. It's just crazy. It's just such an easy flying airplane. I mean, you can see why Horizon recommends this for a second airplane. I mean, if you came out of a trainer, let's say you mastered a, a Habu or you, you mastered an apprentice, you would have no trouble uh, flying the, uh, the timber. And with all their new improvements they made to the Turbo Timber Evolution, the plane is even more durable and more convenient than the original. And the original was a pretty good airplane. I mean, it's really one of the best-selling uh, RC planes, and it's easy to see why. I mean, it's just such an easy flying airplane. I mean, it's like I can talk through here, just relax. Um, not all planes are like that. Uh, some of my Warbirds, uh, some EDFs, uh, a little bit more. You got to be on top of your game, but here I can just relax a little bit, enjoy flying the airplane. I got a beautiful thunderstorm uh, behind me. Makes it look very cool. So I got a nice background to fly in. There's almost no wind now. It's just a nice, easy flying airplane. So yeah, no issues at all flying with a heavier battery. If you're concerned that a heavier battery is uh, gonna uh, really affect the performance, the answer is no. Um, I see nothing so far that would indicate to me a problem with going a heavier battery. Um, back to 3S power. And no doubt, I am much happier with 4S power. Not 3S is bad. I mean, this is still an awesome flying airplane. It's very relaxing, easy to fly. But I'll tell you what, for a turboprop, it kind of needs the 4S just because of the fact that you'd expect that performance out of a turboprop. It's not underpowered on 3S, so don't get me wrong. But I just kind of like it on 4S. But 3S is totally fine. So let's just bring her on in here. Look at that. Nice. Look at it, it's such a beautiful airplane. You get a great look at how that red and white paint looks in against this background. It's incredible. So let's go to come in. Let's do a nice, slow 
off pass here with our flaps, shall we? Take off flaps. So let's slow her way Time down. Remaining. Three minutes. Way down. Here we go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Here we go. Look at this thing. Just hanging in the air. Just hanging. That's just that's takeoff flaps. My takeoff flaps, remember, are not as much as the factory recommends. So let's do flaps up and power out of it. Easy, easy, easy. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, let's just set up for a landing now and uh, let's see if it lands any different with a heavier battery, shall we? So let's do takeoff flaps. Here we go. Bring it around on, on let's turn base, let's turn final. Let's see, heavier battery, any difference in landing? Power down. Landing flaps. Full flaps. Hang on. Settling in very nicely. I think it lands just fine on. Flaps up. I think it lands fine with a heavier battery, a lighter battery, a 3S battery, a 4S battery. I didn't really notice too much of a difference. I think more difference is actually probably the. Um, the lack of um of wind that's really come down i think the landings are a little bit smoother now that the winds drop down a little bit especially when you use flaps but yeah wow so there we go that wraps up the uh the flight review videos of three different batteries 3s powered 4s powered on the new turbo timber evolution fantastic flying airplane leave your questions and comments below thanks guys